put aside all your other interests right now, all your other concerns. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. And if it feels like long breathing is strained or stressful, notice where you feel the strain or stress and try to relax that and continue breathing long. See if that makes a difference. Because the body has different kinds of needs. Sometimes it needs long breathing, sometimes it needs short, sometimes it needs fast or slow. And it's good to be able to breathe in all these ways in a comfortable way. So you don't have any partiality to the breaths you like and the breaths you don't like. You want to be skilled in every kind of breathing. This way you take care of the body, you take care of the mind as well. Because if the mind has a good place to stay in the body in the present moment, then it's going to be happy to stay here. And when it's staying here, that's when you can watch it and see where its intentions are going. Where are you willing something or something you want to see or hear, or smell, taste, touch, think about? Why are you willing that? What's your intention behind that? What's your motivation? You want to be able to see these things in action so you can understand where the mind's intentions are skillful, where they're not. And when they're unskillful, you can do something about them. In other words, you don't have to follow through with them. Learn how to undercut them so they don't keep nibbling away at your mind. And as for the skillful ones, you want to strengthen them. Because sometimes you get a skillful intention, but you feel too weak to carry it through. Well, you want to have the strength of mind to say, I'm going to stick with this all the way through. So it's right here where you can watch these things. If your attention is diverted off to the past or future, you're going to miss it. It's like a magician playing card tricks. Like he tries to divert your attention so you don't really see what he's doing. And that way he can fool you in all sorts of ways. Well, the mind fools itself too, so you want to learn how not to fool it, not to let yourself get fooled. That means you have to be very carefully watching right here all the time. So give yourself a good place to stay. Allow yourself to be with some comfortable breathing. And learn so you can breathe fast, slow, deep, shallow, heavy, light. And it can be comfortable regardless of whatever the body requires. That way you build a good place for the mind to stay and a good place for the mind to watch itself. And so you can clean it out. All the unskillful intentions you can push outside and say, I don't need you anymore. The skillful ones get brought inside and allowed to grow. That way your mind gets more in order and your life gets more in order as well. It becomes more and more the life that you want to lead. <laughs>